Hey, what is up, everybody? I just saw something really cool that came out from John Tornblom. And basically what it is is an ISO image that will run the UMTX exploit and give you a bunch of payloads just like this right here through a Blu-ray disc. Obviously, you will burn that ISO image to a Blu-ray disc and you can jailbreak your PlayStation 5 completely offline. Right now, this works up to about 4.51, and there's some kind of interesting things in here, basically that you can reuse some of the payloads that's on GitHub instead of always burning the brand new payloads to the disk. Anyways, let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. Okay, so if we head over to the project page here, you will see this project is a BDJ homebrew enabler for PS5's running firmware 3.0024.51. So if you are using a later version, this absolutely is not for you. Now in the readme here, it states that this is a BDJ applet that enables the execution of ELF payloads on PS5 consoles running firmware 3.0024.51, and that this uses a privilege escalation vulnerability that the flow discovered and was later produced by Slayer's Gorvey. To escape the Java sandbox, the applet uses the vulnerability to disable the security manager using another technique that was discovered by Slayer's Gorvey. It says that this needs to be burned to a Blu-ray disc and includes a number of useful payloads, an FTP server, and a Telnet server. We will definitely launch the FTP server and see what that does. It does say if your PS5 is connected to the internet, these payloads can be downloaded directly from the web so that you don't have to burn a new disk when the payloads are updated. Okay, so it is very simple to get started. You will just need to go over to the releases here and just grab the BDJ UMTX hen.iso. Now, I am using a program called ImageBurn. And I will leave a link to where you can download ImageBurn if you are so inclined. I will also be using FileZilla for my FTP client. And you can absolutely come over here and download it directly from the FileZillaProject.org. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get the file burnt to a disk. So again, you will need a Blu-ray burner in order to do that. Okay, so go ahead and open up Image Burn, and we are going to select the option Write Image to Disk. Now, do make sure before you do that that it does find your drive. Mine is just a USB drive, and it did find it right there. So again, go to Write to file and then we are going to go right here to please select a file and we are just going to select that bdj umtx hen.iso and press open there and now we're just going to go ahead and take the check mark out of verify for the most part that isn't needed and we're going to go ahead and hit the right button now this disc has something on it yours may not i'm going to go ahead and press yes here and let that be rewritten. Okay, so at this point, just give it a couple of minutes and it will be finished up and then we'll be able to take that and put that in our PlayStation 5. Okay, and it's done and we're going to now take that to our PlayStation 5. Okay, back over on our PlayStation 5. As you can see, I am currently not jailbroken as there is no debug settings. And if I jump over here to system, system software, console information, right there you can see I'm at 4.03. Okay, so let's go back to the home menu here. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and insert my Blu-ray disc that I just wrote to. Okay, so it looks like it is recognizing the disc, the little disc icon up at the top. And right there it is, it says disc player Play Blu-ray, disc, and DVD. So we're going to go down to where it says play here. And let's see if we can get a jailbreak using John Tornblom's brand new tool. Okay, and there it is. That actually happened pretty quick. So from right here, it says launch payloads from the 
github.com slash ps5-payload-dev. And it has a bunch of different payloads already in here. So there is a K-Log server. There is a FTP. There's a web server, Telnet, GDB, an ELF loader that's running on port 9021. And then there's a couple of different payloads that is from the disk. So the difference that you see here is, is that these that are on the disk means that you can just run these and there is no internet connection required. Now, these up here at the top, these will allow you to use the same Blu-ray disk and you can get brand new payloads because these are being launched directly off of this GitHub URL. So this is great. You won't need to reburn the disk every time there's a new payload that comes out. So just as a test here, I'm going to run the FTP server. Now, one thing you will note is, is that not all of the payloads are actually here, but we'll go ahead and try the FTP server, which is running on port 2121. So I just pressed X on that, and right there it is. It has where it has launched that. So let's jump over to our PC and let's see if that worked. Okay, so I'm over here and I'm in FileZilla and right here is my site. I've got the IP address as well as the 2121, which was specified. And we're going to press connect here and there it goes. It is going to allow us in there. So you can see right there is the file system of our PS5. Let's switch back to the PS5. Okay, back over on the PlayStation 5. We just ran that one and it ran successfully. And I feel very confident that the rest of these would work as well. So just one more thing that we can try here is that if we do go back to the home and we go right back into the disk, it does resume as it was. So that is another kind of nice feature there. And now let's go over to settings. And there is our debug settings. So that is pretty neat. So it looks like there is going to be a bit of an easier way to get jailbroken completely offline by using this Blu-ray disc. Anyways, thought that I would just make a quick video and show you what is currently available. This is still at a 0.1, so we'll have to see what happens in the future. That being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael. Ow!